Hello and Namaste. I'm Mukul Kumar, Director of Marketing for Project, Planner and Visio. When we think about investments to these products, we typically think in terms of four pillars. Teamwork. You know, you can, of course, manage a project together in teams, including file sharing, chats, meetings, and much more. You can easily add new collaborators to view or update plan details like tasks. You can collaborate through co-editing, assigning tasks, and requesting input all within your project plan. Second, planning. It's all about using flexible tools to power your plans, big and small. Choose from a variety of views and approaches that best fits your needs and preferences, including lists, Kanban-style boards, grids, timelines, Gantt charts. Plan quickly with dynamic scheduling based on the effort, dependencies, duration, and resources. And third is visibility. View project status, spot trends, and flag potential issues quickly through insightful visualizations and reports. Gain visibility by aggregating projects across your teams in a visual interactive timeline. And lastly, our project management solutions are built on a secure platform so that you can work confidently. For those of you who may be somewhat familiar, Microsoft Planner is a great tool for work and task management. If you need to quickly create plans, assign tasks and collaborate with your team in Microsoft Teams, to get things done. It provides the Kanban board's experience with a familiar task management tool set. Planner is part of many of the Microsoft 365 suites and is designed to seamlessly work with other Microsoft 365 apps, especially with Microsoft Teams. On the right-hand side, you see a redesigned project for the web app. Built entirely in the cloud, it is an easy to start and simple to use app for a more contemporary user experience. Project for the Web offers many of the same popular planner feature, but also provides more capabilities to manage projects with more flexibility and power. You can configure and extend project and build automated workflows and business processes, all to meet your unique project management needs. Project for the Web is for just about anyone who manages their projects as part of their jobs, be it in marketing, HR, operations, engineering, business development, the PMO, and more. Project for the Web includes dynamic scheduling and timeline, a modernized Gantt chart, subtasks and dependencies, and cross-project visibility. Planner is still our first step to staying on top of your work, and we are making it easier for you to shift from planner to project to meet the needs as your projects evolve. Over the past three to six months, several highly requested features for project rolled out. First is guest users. You can invite guests outside of your organization to view your plans, built in project for the web, without the need for a project or Microsoft 365 license. If the guest has a project cloud license, then they can create and edit plans. Speaking of sharing plans, Microsoft 365 E3 and E5 users can not only view plans built in project for the web, but they can also update the progress or the percentage complete of a task assigned to them in any project they are part of, without a project license. Like Planner, Project for the Web now has the charts view. You can quickly assess how your work is progressing through a visual dashboard. So first is, assigned to me within tasks in Teams for Project. Now looking forward, today I'm pleased to share several more innovations coming to Microsoft Planner and Project. So let's start. The first one is, assigned to me within tasks in Teams for Project. It's a highly requested feature that will be rolling out in the next couple of months. You can review your project tasks along with all your other tasks in the assigned to me list, which is included in the tasks in Teams, Planner, and to-do apps. Second one is Project for the Web includes many of the most popular features for Planner. Many of you have requested a more seamless way to work between the two apps. I'm here to tell you that we have heard you loud and clear and you can upgrade and move a planner plan to project or begin a project trial right from planner. If you're an IT admin, you can manage usage and trials through dashboards, which is gonna be available to you soon. The third feature we are excited about is the agile project management support. It was in high demand and to meet those requests, you can manage sprints and backlogs in project for the web. This feature will be rolling out soon. The next one is task history in project. It gives teams more visibility to the changes impacting their projects. For existing project for the web users, advanced dependencies and increased task limits, scaling all the way up to 1,000. 
will enable the management of bigger and more involved projects. People view gives you the quick visibility into the allocation of the work across the team and allows for easy task reassignment to balance the overall workload. And for those of you who've heard the announcement of September 22nd, there's been a lot of excitement and anticipation on the upcoming connections of Viva goals with planner and project. Ultimately, what this means for you and your team is that you can set goals and manage objectives and key results to provide visibility to your stakeholders on status while aligning to your organization's goal. As goals is a theme, under feature goals within project will enable you to set goals at the project level to track progress and ensure you're taking on the right set of activities that drive the most impact. Here is another view of all the things that we have released and the innovations that are going to be coming soon to you. And I'll walk through these upcoming features in the demo. So let's jump into the demo. When working on projects with others, it can get pretty challenging to coordinate the work, track progress, and keep everyone on the same page. That's where Planner and Project comes in and enables teams to successfully drive progress with more control and organization. With your Microsoft 365 license, you can easily get started with basic work management using Planner, where you can set up a plan, assign tasks to other, organize the work in boards using buckets, labels, and more. When you reach a point in your project where you want to get a bit more control, including assessing the project timeline and dependencies, adding custom fields to fit the unique needs of your project, you can easily upgrade right from within Planner and get started with a project 30-day trial for free. And soon you'll be able to bring your Planner work into project to continue making progress smoothly after your upgrade. We launched Project for the Web three years ago, and we've reimagined the product to make it easier for anyone to manage their teamwork with flexible and agile work management methods built in. Project for the Web has the same modern, agile, lightweight, and intuitive experience of Planner and backed by powerful project engine with over 30 years of investments, meeting the needs for the range of users and their project management needs. Let's take a quick look at some of the exciting new capabilities we have added to Project for the Web to help you manage your team projects, to give you more control and flexibility and drive for results. To make it super easy to get started, Project includes a set of templates to help you jumpstart your team project organize the work meaningfully, and onboard team members to start executing. Let's start with the business plan template to help drive the work of a product launch plan in an agile way using sprints planning. Now, before we get started, I want to make sure that our team and leadership are aligned on why we are doing this work. We are working on delivering goals for project to help drive more focus and alignment on team projects. For this product launch project, we've set up three primary goals and we can easily map tasks to help ensure we are tackling the right set of work that can drive most impact on our goals. As the project grows and we identify more work that needs to get done, load balancing the workload across the team becomes critical to ensure people have a manageable workload and we are able to better drive on our goals as a team. We recently rolled out this highly visual people view that makes it super easy to review the workload and what each team member has on their plate. Using the board, our team can easily plan our current and upcoming sprints, dragging, dropping tasks to the appropriate sprint, stack ranking the work and assigning to the relevant team members. We can quickly add new tasks to the backlog and with some recent enhancements, you can now set labels to tag work, break the task into specific checklist items and set the priority. One of the more popular ways to manage projects is in the grid view, where you can easily scan the work status, make quick updates and add new tasks, sort and filter on specific fields. And when you're looking for ways to customize your team project to meet your specific needs, you can easily create custom fields to track additional status information for each of the tasks consistently. For example, here I created a risk field to help my team assess the risk level of each of the tasks they're working on. And to make it super easy to identify the high risk items or the items that are on track, we recently introduced color formatting as well. Once our team is in execution mode, we need to be checking frequently to make sure things are still on track. That's where the charts come in handy. 
With a quick scan, I can check out progress by completion status, by bucket, by assignment. Since the team is actively discussing all the project work in Teams, you can easily add the project as a tab to your Teams channel. Soon you'll be able to review task history and get updates on all the activities and progress that has happened on the task. As a follow-up, you can easily start a chat in the task to check in on the progress or provide some updates to team members working on the task. While in Teams, you can also go to the Tasks app and review the Assigned to Me list that brings together all your tasks, which will soon include project tasks as well. You can easily manage your project tasks from this view, including reviewing the task details and updating progress. To share a sneak peek of what's up next, we have exciting work on a way to integrate project and planner with Viva Goals. To drive more alignment and transparency on progress work towards our organization goals, we can easily show the progress and drive for better impact of the work in Viva Goals, where our leadership is tracking progress towards our organization's OKRs. And if you want to learn more about Microsoft Project and Planner, here are some of the links that you can go to to check out our blogs, our social, you can share your feedback, or you can also try Project for free. And that's it. On behalf of all of us here, I just wanted to say a big thank you once again. Thank you.